Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson's on rounding numbers, but this time we're rounding to the nearest thousand, ten thousand, or a hundred thousand. So we're working with six digit numbers today, like 279,534. Rounding just means that we're starting with a number and we're looking for another number that's just close to that. It doesn't have to be exact. And our answer is going to end in one or today, you know, maybe up to four or five zeros. Our first step is to pick the place value. So for example, let's round this number to the nearest 10,000. So in this example, the 10,000, it's the digit seven. And our steps are to underline uh, our place value, which is the seven, box the seven and the next number over. The 79, we're going to round that. Now that's gonna to round to 80, but let me show you on a uh, rounding chart. So we would find 79. Notice that's in between 70 on the left and 80 on the right, but it's closer to 80, okay? So that's that part. And then we have rules for left and right. Uh, the, any digits to the left, so for example, that two there stays exactly the same, we keep that, but any digits to the right, like the five, three, four, that pops into zeros, okay? And don't forget your comma has to go in between your thousands and your one period. So this problem would read 279,534 rounded to the nearest 10,000 equals 280. Uh, there's also a symbol that you can use. Not everyone uses it. It doesn't really mean rounded. It just means about, close to, or approximately equal to. You'll see that sometimes. Our lesson today is going to start with place value. We're going to go over the steps for rounding problems we're doing today, and then we'll do some problems. Okay, so let's start with place value. We're focusing this lesson on the thousands period, but let's just cover them all today. So on a place value chart, our number looks like this. On the right, the four is in the ones place value. The three is in the tens place value. Five is in the hundreds place value. Those three make something called the ones period. Then moving over, we have the thousands period. The thousands period also has ones, tens, and hundreds, but they're referred to, uh, the nine is in the one thousands, the seven is in the ten thousands, and the two is in the hundred thousands. Notice the one thousands is usually referred to simply as the thousands, and we'll be using that expression today. The comma goes in between the thousands period and the ones period, so make sure you're putting that in your answers today. Okay, name the place value of the underlined digit. All right, so how about that nine? Do you remember the place value of that, the name? That's thousands, okay. Name the place value of the underlined digit. The two is in the hundred thousands, great. Name the place value of the underlined digit. So the seven, 10,000 is great. Okay, let's look at our steps today. Uh, directions, round the number to the nearest 100,000. Notice we're just using the same number, but we're gonna round it to a different place value. So there's our steps, and let's just get started. Our first step is to underline the place value. So the question is, you know, which one do we underline? Well, the directions say 100,000. So on our number, we find the hundred thousands, we underline, box that, and the next number over. Now 27 is going to round to 30, but let me show you on a rounding chart. Uh, 27 is in between the 20 and the 30, but it's closer to the 30, so 27 rounds to 30. And then we have rules for left and right. Uh, on the left, it stays the same. Well, for this problem, there are no digits to the left, but there are four digits to the right. All of them turn into zero. So that's our rule there. Please don't forget your comma. So that answer reads 300,000. Okay, let's look at another one. Round the number to the closest thousand for this problem. Um, I'm not gonna show you the steps. Let's just see if you remember. So where do we start? We're starting with thousands, so we're gonna underline the thousands. This should be the nine. 
box. Now that 95 is going to round up to 100, but let me show you on a rounding chart. There's 95. That rounds up to 100. Remember, 100 is a three-digit uh, uh, number, and we talked about this on another lesson. That one is the extra digit goes to the left, and you want to add that one to the seven. Okay, so we're going to add that one to the seven that's already there. We're not adding the 95. Remember, we rounded that, so we just have the two zeros right below it. So seven plus one is eight, but then don't forget to put down your other two zeros and your comma, okay? Then rules for left and right. The two stays exactly the same, and the 34 pops into zero. So our answer for this one is 280,000. Don't forget your comma, of course. Okay, let's solve some problems. What is 613,542 rounded to the nearest 10,000? So first thing was we'll just rewrite our number so we can work with it. What are our steps? Remember, we're going to underline the place value, and they're telling us 10,000. So make sure you get this step right. Did you remember the one? Good. Box. The 13 is going to round to 10, but let me show you. On our rounding chart, 13 is closest to the 10, so that pops into a 10. And then just remember your rules for left and right. Left stays the same, and the right pops into zeros, so our answer is 610,000. Please don't forget your comma when you do your answers. So our answer is going to be B, 610,000. Which number, when rounded to the nearest thousand, is equal to 300? 56,000. I'm going to be honest with you, this problem's a little bit tricky, so let's do this together. Uh, first thing is we want to write the number that we have to round to. So that's 356,000, and we have to solve A, B, C, and D and see which one rounds to that number. Let's enlarge those numbers a little bit um, so that we can work with it. We're going to the nearest thousand. Let's start with A. Underline our thousands box. 62 is going to round to 60. Let me show you that on a, on a hundred chart, or excuse me, a rounding chart. That rounds to 60. We'll just put it off to the right this time. Remember your rules for left and right. So the 45 stays the same, but the 73 pops into zeros. So 456,000, is that 356,000? No. So that is not the correct answer. So let's try B. Remember, we're underlining the thousand, right? box. 68 is going to round to 70, but let me show you. There's 68. It rounds to 70. Okay, so that's our first step. And then rules for left and right. The 35 stays the same on the left, and the 24 pops into zeros. 357,000. Well, that's closer, but it is still not 356,000, so that's not correct. Let's try C. We're going to thousands. Underline, box, that's going to also round to um, 60, 60, so 64 rounds to 60, and then rules for left stays the same, and the right pops into zeros. We now have 356,000, and that is a match, so that is our correct answer, but let's just check D anyway, ready, underline, box, 85 is going to round to 90, right, and then rules for left and right, and when we do those steps, you can see that 359,000 does not match the one we were looking for, so our final answer is C, 356,489 rounds to 356,000, and we're just using our approximately equal to symbol. What is 265,200 rounded to the nearest 100 Thousand. This problem's a little bit easier. We're going to rewrite it, and we just have to round that number. So 100,000, ready, underline, box. 26 is going to round to 30. And then we have nothing on the left, but we have four digits to the right. Don't forget your comma, please. So our final answer is 300,000. Great. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you made it this far, I love you guys, and uh, we hope to see you on the next one.